Oh, wait, are you still they, doing it? There's two of them, actually. One of them, one of them actually was Sarah Michelle Gellar. Okay. It's called Cruel Inventions, and they dyed my hair, like... We're running. Are, are we okay? Yeah. They dyed my hair white blonde, so like, like blonde blonde all the way to the roots. Uh -huh. And then I got this other job in, a, in this movie called Urban Legend. Uh -huh. And uh, I got there, and they're like, huh, your hair is blonde. Well, I guess we'll just leave it. So they let it grow in a little bit, and, uh -huh. and I play this frat boy who's supposed to be trying desperately to grow grow a goatee. So I'm trying desperately to grow a goatee. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just wonder if anyone is this Sarah? Michelle yeah, it's Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar, uh, Ryan Felipe, Reese Witherspoon. It's a good cool. cast, but my, I mean, my job is pretty inconsequential. I'm in there. It was two days' work. It was great fun, though. Oh, dad. Yeah, with this guy, Roger Crumble. It's, uh, he wrote the script. It's Dangerous Days, uh -huh. Modernized. Yeah. It's very cool. Oh, excellent. So are things now just kind of falling in your lap? No matter what, well, as far as jobs? Not, I mean, not, not falling in my lap so much. I mean, I'm still at a point where I have to work for jobs, you know, mm -hmm. I have to go out there. I'm not like, I'm not Tom Cruise. I don't right. come looking for me, but, uh, but it's definitely, it's a lot easier now. The w, yeah. that, uh, you know, the WB did so much press for Dawson's Creek and then it came out and it was successful. Mm -hmm. um, so now I don't have to go, you know, now I can get jobs based on my acting merit or lack thereof yeah. instead of having to prove myself to them, you know, as a, as a commodity instead of as an actor. Because yeah. they already know that I'm bankable now for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 20 minutes. Don't tell you I'm going to extend my 15 minutes as long as I can. <laughs> You know, I don't know if you know this, but in Chicago they have Dawson's Creek parties where, like, seriously, people are so obsessed with you guys in the show. Um, Wait, yeah. You guys rock. They just sit around and they watch you guys and uh, light candles and, you know, you guys are it. It's really cool. But, That's you know, very cool. At the same it, you know, time. it's strange. What, I live in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, the show came out like, last week. Mm -hmm. So I, I missed all of this stuff, you know. I, James has been saying, he's like, it's incredible. I can't go walk down the street and people are screaming at me. And, yeah. and now Katie's down here and she's like, I don't know what, I don't know what's up, Josh. It's, everything's different. And Michelle had the same experience. And I just kind of happily skated through like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Nobody recognizes me. <laughs> <laughs> did you wait? So now you live in Vancouver and you, tri you just kind of... Well, I live, I live in Vancouver, but now I guess I live mostly in North Carolina because it's Dawson's Creek. Right. And uh, now I'm in... I, man, I have the best life. I was yeah. in Toronto yesterday, I'm in L.A. today, I'll be in Vancouver next week, then I get to go to New York, then I go to North Carolina. Like, oh, it's tough. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's do lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your people talk to my people. We'll do lunch. Now, tell me something about the Friday the 13th episode. It's Kevin Williams and the coolest or what? Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, he is the coolest guy. He gave me a job. Of course he's the coolest guy. Um, and he's directing his first film, Killing Mrs. Single, with Katie right now. Right. Uh, but, you know, the, the Friday the 13th episode is his making fun of himself. Because, you know, the Scream movies were a lot, you know, very self-referential about making fun of the genre that they were pandering to. So that's what the Friday the 13th, it's making fun of Dawson's Creek and making fun of Scream and just, you know, he's just like, taking a good, he's taking a sucker punch at himself. That's but, uh, yeah, he's a cool guy. And he writes so, you know, he writes so well. His, yeah. The words as, as written... From him and actually the people that he kind of passed it off to, to John Feldman and Mike White and Dana Barata, they write natural speech. So they write lines that easily come out of your mouth. So you don't have to really work that hard. Okay. I show up and say my, my lines. That's all I need to do for the day, you mm -hmm. know, because they've taken care of the rest. Everything else is on the page. Right. Which makes my job so nice. <laughs> well, whose bright idea was it to put you in a beauty contest? I actually want to do that in drag, <laughs> yeah. but, they, but they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let you? I don't know, crazy kids. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, have you seen the episode? The whole idea behind it is, uh, I need, you know, it's Pacey. It's another one of Pacey's idiotic schemes to get money. He, need, he wants to move out of his house now. He's like, I'm tired of my dad. I'm out of here. So he decides he's going to enter and win this this uh, all-female beauty pageant. That's right. crazy, man. He likes to stir the pot. You yeah, know, anything, I think it's Anything right. for trouble. The yeah. guy's right in there. Right. So it hasn't aired yet. There's, uh, no, I know. It, that's, yeah, I know. That's strange. They cut the season right, out, right in half. We'd like to tease you. We're just going to show it. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. It was so cool.